Hey everyone, so I came back with another video. Um, so I was working with a front end project uh, where it was trying to connect an API. I was getting course error, which is a known error uh, when you are trying to hit an API from front end. So I found a good solution, uh, creating a proxy with Cloudflare. Uh, good part is it's free of cost and you will need like five minutes to deploy. I will show how to deploy it today. So let's jump in straight to the code. So you, what do you need? Uh, you need a Cloudflare account, then go to your account, then go to workers and pages, then create a new one, name it as you want. So create worker, I'm giving it course proxy so this will be the deployable url nor is i will delete it after the deployment i am i'm here to show you the code all right so after you uh, renaming it um just hit deploy so this is the very basic starting um then you will see a page like this um, create edit code so uh let's do, let's start with our first function um it will be an async function async um function let's give it handle request let's name it and we will pass request i mean this is just the name of params you want to pass so to use this function we need an event listener add event listener so what it will do it will grab all the fetch functions it will be will pass alone an event then event dot um sorry it will be respond we, we will respond with so right now we will call our function from here and a request so what we will do we will pass all the um, events from here I mean all the requests from the events from here so event dot um, request that's it for now um, let's go back to our main function so we will grab all the whole URL so that we can uh, pick the API string from the URL. So it will be new URL. It will be request dot URL. Perfect. Now we will grab the target URL. I mean the API URL target URL. So it will be from the URL. Um, from the world it will be search pair search params what is wrong here new url request dot url of const okay. search params dot get um so this is the name of the object i mean query name you want to pass so i will pass with the name of URL then let's we will throw an error if there is no target URL so we ready if no target URL we will send back in response so return new response so what we will write like missing URL query params also let's send back an status of 400 cool now we will intercept the header from the request const let's name it as headers it will be new headers from the request dot headers 
then what we will do we will um, add the type of content we are expecting from the api right headers dot set to then content type content type of application slash json so guys um this is the type of content you will expect from the api url if there what if there is um an xml response so you need to handle those um very carefully all right now what we will do we will grab the target request we will send it to the target url so target request will be sent to the target url so this will be target request equal new request will send a request to the target url where we will the method will be from request dot method and headers will be intercepted headers so now there is another part what if the request is a type of get we don't need the body right over the request right so we will check if there is head or if, and if there is an if the request type is and get then we will not send the body else we will send it so it will be body um request dot method is not equal get and request dot method don't have head so if the if it's true what is wrong if it's true then we will send the request dot body else the body will be null then so we got the target request now we need to send it right so as we will said there might be an error so let's wrap it up in a try catch try and catch so if there is an error we will new return return and return new response um there will be um, problem while reaching the url it will be in status type of 500 all right cool now let's write our very first request from the uh, proxy to the api right okay, so the response um so let's name the response as response variable response equal we will await for the promise await fetch it will fetch the target request now we have the response so before sending the response from the api server i mean from proxy server to the front end we need to intercept and change the header a bit so let's do it const new headers it will be new headers so it will be response dot headers now new headers dot will set um, access control allow origin so we will basically allow all the um, origin from here you can bind it like you can give your domain name domain specific name new headers dot set access control allow methods so we'll basically allow all the methods we got new headers dot set um so this is for the type of header you want to um allow from the front end right access control uh, control allow headers this will be content type and as there might be some authorization header so we will allow it authorization all right so 
let's return it return new response it will be response dot body along with the um, status from response dot status and headers will be new headers so i think that's it if you have done it perfectly you are good to go let's try to deploy it if, uh, so it will also check if there is any error um let's see okay version save that means you're good to go so if you hit right over here the refresh button you should see some response um it's deploying let's see okay missing query params that means we need to pass the query params our application is working i guess i will grab an url from json placeholder i will just pass it from here question mark it means it will be in query params voila it's great so we have a response from the api server so this api is directly now accessible from the front end congratulations you have your first proxy server on cloudflare